Yo, what is up guys, it is me Nocto, back here with a brand new video on Five Nights Tower Defense. And in today's video, we are going to be checking out the new buff that happened to the Valkyrie Chica. We have Step Bro here, which is actually in my clan. Well, I'm in his clan, I guess. And, um, he's looking kind of crazy right now, but he does have a shiny Valkyrie he is going to let us use for the video. So, shout out to him for being such a legend. For letting us use this unit. Alright, here we go. He's still letting us use it. Once again, shout out to Dasher. Appreciate it, man. I'll get it back to you once we get it checked out here. So big ups to him for letting us use this for the video. It is a shiny, so that is absolutely crazy. I don't even know how many shiny Valkyrie Chicas exist. We're gonna go ahead and check this out right quick though. So we have we're gonna take off the spring trap. Okay, so there are a total of 58 Valkyrie Chica shiny in the game. This one does have Puppet's Nightmare, so it's kind of crazy. He knows that I'm going to play a game with it, so I'm going to go ahead and just hop into a match and test this out and show you guys the buff. So you already know we're going to hop into game four, night four. We're going to do it, since it's the Valkyrie Chica, and since we're using all kinds of like good stuff, do hard mode on night four. All right, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and place down our Tarnish Bonnies. So if you guys don't know what the buff is, the buff is literally you can just place more than three of the Valkyries. Now, you can go ahead and place a total of four valkyrie chicas which if you don't know that's actually crazy that's a lot of damage and i mean a lot of damage let's go ahead and try not to die here though real quick um yeah we're gonna try and not to die here uh scott please thank you all right so we can go ahead and place down a valkyrie we're gonna place one two and we're gonna go ahead and place three and we're gonna go ahead and place four this is crazy. What we're gonna do is go ahead and just sell that. Um, why did I sell my booster? I gotta place that booster down. So holy moly, look at all these Valkyries, and we haven't even we haven't even upgraded any of them yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and max them all out if I can. This is just like a insane melting squad right here. These Valkyries are cracked. And you can place four now. So let's go ahead and buff the range on all of these as well. Just like that, bro. The Valkyries are just melting. Look. I don't know if we could do it with just Valkyries. They do about 7,400 damage each. Like, 7,400 7, DPS, I think. So that's roughly 28,000, a little over 28,000 DPS, which is not that bad. But since it is a continuous unit, you do need to... Okay, bro, what? All right. You do need, to, do need to go ahead and have other things helping. So I wouldn't be able to do this with just Valkyrie alone. As you can see, they are getting pretty far. But the buff on Valkyrie is still kind of crazy. Um, we're gonna need Scott here. We probably didn't really need Scott, but I'm gonna place him down just for insurance because I don't want to lose this. So yeah, two. So they didn't buff the damage, they didn't buff the range, they didn't buff the cooldown. The only thing that's buffed on this unit is you can place four of her now, which honestly makes her absolutely crazy. I would have done the Leviathan as well, but I can't do the Leviathan because I don't have it, and I don't think anyone in my clan has a shiny one and, or a normal one. Well, I know they have a normal one, but some people want me to charge to use it for a video they want they want to charge me to use it so i was just like ah just do the valkyrie so once again shout out to dasher for help for letting me use this valkyrie chico when the boss does come out we're only going to use the valkyries to kill the boss because i think the valkyries can hold their own up against the boss pretty easily i don't think that would be a problem for them so this should be nope this one more round and then it's just bosses so i'm gonna go ahead and sell the tarnished i don't think we need the tarnished yeah we'll go ahead and sell the tarnished because we have the valkyries and the uh, scott it's gonna clean up all this and then we're gonna sell the sky and now it's up to the valkyries to defeat the boss so it does have puppets nightmare so the range on this is 85.3 with puppets nightmare because puppets nightmare is a 50 range but let's go let's see how fast we can kill it with 28,000 dps technically all together it's 28,000 dps up against the calamity nightmare that's such a sick like unit it's the unit too because it's going to be the unit from the thing i think from at the end of the season can the Valkyries do it? We're not going to place anything to save it. We're just going to see if they can do it. Can they do it? It's not looking like the Valkyries can do it on their own. So even with four Valkyries, I'll take in mind this is Puppet's Nightmare Enchant. I don't think they can do it. Wait, they might be able to. Wait, they might get it. Oh, no, the way they got it. They got it. All right, so four Valkyries versus Night 4, Game 4, boss on hard mode, and they took it out fairly easily. Alright, well that was one game. We're going to hop into Military Lobby as well and see if it can do anything. See if, since it's from Military and since it's been buffed, I think that we can do just the Valkyrie on its own. Th through the whole match. Just because 
it's from this event and it's buffed and it's supposed to be the best. So I think we go ahead and do the same thing. We'll do day five and we'll put it on hard. Yo, this might actually be hard. I really hope it isn't too hard because uh, I don't want to lose. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and place just a tarnished here and we're going to place a tarnished here. And those should be pretty good placements for our tarnish. I know I said we're going to do Valkyries only, but I have to get the money to place only Valkyries. So once I get to that point to where I'm placing only Valkyries, then we'll do only Valkyries. I think a good spot for for them is probably like right here in this area. We'll place like two here and like maybe one here, one here or something. Just to get a full like range of motion of the whole entire area. I think I'll save my money and place down one Valkyrie already. I don't know, can I? I don't think I'll be able to. I'm going to upgrade this. Yeah, if I didn't upgrade that TSB, I would have been cooked. They would have definitely gotten through. Alright, so now I should be safe to save up to 10k to place down a Valkyrie. I think I'm going to place it here. Because we will get the range boost. Actually, I'm going to place it right here. Because we will get the range boost and everything from it. Now, the thing that I like about the Valkyrie is you can place them kind of close together. I used to have a Valkyrie. Not a shiny one. But I had one. A normal one. And needless to say, it's a pretty good unit. Um, I might just eat this infected puppy right here. I might just take the damage from it. Because it can kill that one. And that damage from that infected puppet won't kill us. Should be chilling as far as that goes. We're going to place another Valkyrie like maybe... I want to place it so I can take care of that entrance over there, because once I sell everything, that's going to become a problem. Because I don't have anything to bend over there on that end of the world. Oh no, I got through. Okay, the Valkyrie got it. Alright, so I think what I'll do now is just sell this TSB. I'm going to put the range booster, like right here. And we're going to boost the range as much as we can on these. Yeah, maxed out range boost. I'm going to put down the damage booster as well. Can I put it right here? Yeah, I can. I'm going to sell this TSB. And then we'll go ahead and max out that. And then I'm going to put another Valkyrie, like right... Can I put one here? I was just talking about how you can play stuff. I guess it counts as the track, kind of. That's probably why you can't place it that close. I should be able to place one right here, though, right? Did they, like, mess the hitbox up? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I knew I could play... If I make it closer, can I place? I don't I don't know. Oh, wait. It was a little slither. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on. I can get it. I can get it. No, oh, it was a little slither of me being able to place it there. I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Wait for the... Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, see, I knew it. You can place them, like, really close together, so. It makes it so good. You don't have to waste money on, like, multiple boosters. So here we go. We're just going to get these maxed out and uh, survive the rest of the game with just these Valkyries. should probably upgrade one of these over here because the tanks are starting to come out, but it looks like they're just deleting them at level 1. Dude, the Valkyrie? I forgot how good the Valkyrie actually is. This unit is so good. Like, I wonder how much a shiny one costs, bro. The shiny one's got to be, like, 150k or 120k. There's only, like, nine... There, what, how much did I say? 58 in existence, bro? 58? The event is about to leave as well. So the value on this thing, with a buff, with it finna leave, everything, dude, the value on this unit's gonna skyrocket, bro. Alright, and max that one out. Alright, let's go ahead. We only got one more to max out, and we'll be ready, because next round is the boss. Can I get them all maxed out before we meet the boss though and the boss is bloodlust chica so we're gonna have bloodlust chica versus valkyrie chica let's see which chica will come out on top will bloodlust chica come out on top or will valkyrie chica come out on top honestly i'm going with valkyrie chica because you know just just look at valkyrie chica bro two ars two miniguns literally four wings like an armor i can't get over how insane this unit is when i first started fntd bro this was the only unit i wanted i traded and grind up so many gifts just to get the unit and then when i got it i had it for a while but i eventually traded it away because there's other things out there that i could use on my team that might be a little bit better and have more value but not a shiny one though <laughs> not a shiny one so they only had like a little glimpse of it right here and already almost melted it so i think uh i think i'm gonna be able to beat this pretty easily bloodless chica is wannabe valkyrie chica got the wings got a shield and a knife just wants to be Valkyrie Chica, but just can't, just can't be. Alright, GG's Bloodless Chica, we'll catch you in the next one. Alright guys, there you have it. That is the new and improved Valkyrie Chica Shiny. Let's just get a check on the stats one more time. I need to get a screenshot of this anyway. Here we are, there's the stats. Like I said, the damage I don't think or anything was buff, it was just placement, so. When you're using Valkyrie Chica, you can now place 4 and that's just an extra 7k DPS on your team. So let's go ahead and give this back to Dasher. I'll have to wait 26 more seconds to trade. Like, what is this, bro? There you go. Once again, thank you, Dasher, for letting me use this for a video. Big W's to you, man. And you know what? Um, for letting me use this for a video, I'm going to hook you up with a Galleon Foxy. There you go, man. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you for letting me use it for a video. You can keep Galleon. I mean, 
All right, if you if you want me to, all right, I'll keep it. I guess. I mean, you really don't need it anyway. You're really rich, anyways. But I was just trying to be nice. That concludes that video. Um, if you guys did enjoy that video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel, and um, we'll be posting more update buff units and stuff like that in the future. So if that's something you want, turn on that post notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.